Our partners at Bet Online continue to be your number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest odds, news, and sports developments, including this year's Wimbledon Finals, Major League Baseball, all the latest fighting news, and this season's NFL. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today. Receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code BLEAV to get the bonus and get into action. Bet online where the game's. Hello, hello, hello. It's Private Talk Podcast with Alexis Texas, and we are back season four. And today, Private Talk, we have the pleasure of having Chloe Surreal on the couch. Hi. Hello <laughs> and welcome. I'm Thank excited you. to get to know you a little bit more. I know you're a little bit nervous, but like I said before, Miss Texas won't won't bite you too hard. We'll make sure you have a great <laughs> time and your fans get to know a little bit more about you. Some, you know, personal, some a little risque. We want to know it all, Miss Chloe. Well, thank you for having me. Of course. <laughs> introduce yourself and let Private Talk know who you are. I am Chloe Surreal. I am a 24-year-old pornographic actress. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, happy to be so, here. So <laughs> let us know, you're 24, mm -hmm. rather young for the industry. We talked about like, you know, the age yeah. groups of when people get in. I started when I was 21. How did you kind of get into the industry? Was it something that you kind of aspired to do? Were you just kind of really sexually active? Did you have a boyfriend bring you into the business? How did you get to this seat right here, Chloe? You know, I it wasn't really something that I ever thought I was going to get into. Uh, I was going to school. I was planning on being a lawyer. Okay. Um, I had always been kind of sexually promiscuous. I have large natural breasts, so that was always a topic of conversation. But I just didn't think it was for me. I didn't think that anyone would, like, want to jerk off to me. It just wasn't a part of my life. Um, I didn't start dating until I was kind of older. Okay. Uh, was that because of by choice or you just kind of like were told not to growing up or like you were just didn't really care about boys at that time or girls? It just wasn't, I just never thought about it. It wasn't something that was a part of my life. You know, I was really interested in studying and just wanted to go to school and figure out kind of who I was. Okay, so yeah. what kind of happened where you started to discover who you were, you were going to school to be a lawyer, mm -hmm. what kind of flipped the script to being like, oh wait, I know I was always promiscuous, but now I want to kind of really dive into this work field. Um, I had someone very close to me who passed away. Sorry to hear that. It's all right. He's fine now, I'm sure. Um, and he passed away and it, we were the same age and it really made me reevaluate my life and what I wanted to do versus the expectations that other people had of me. Mm. Um, I emailed a bunch of agents just saying like, hey, these are my photos. What do you guys think? Would would there be a place for me in the industry? Now, um, you came up with this all by yourself. Like, mm -hmm. where did you search for these like agencies? Because that's something Google. that. OK, Google. All right. I Google's Googled been our friend all day agencies. today. I appreciate it. <laughs> that was the only thing I knew how to do. I wasn't really sure where to start. I didn't think about checking social medias or anything. I just Googled porn agencies. OK, ballsy. I, I yeah. like it. <laughs> I emailed the first three that I found. Um, Who they, were they? Let us know. I emailed East Coast Talent. Okay. Um, I think Fox Models and then Next Level. Okay. Um, I ended up going with East Coast. Okay. And Glad I didn't say the first thing I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no longer with East Coast. Okay. I'm with another agency, but they flew me down after like a month. Um, I decided that I was ready. I was Where are you from? I'm from the Pacific Northwest, but okay. I had spent a lot of time here also growing up. Okay. Um, so they yeah. flew you to Miami? No, to LA. To LA? I just okay. packed up all my stuff and I moved. And I moved into the model house. No questions asked. You were just like, you know what? They, they said, hey, come to LA. We're going to come. Like, let's check this out. They threw me a couple of shoots. They said, come down. You'll do great. Um, come down. No pun intended. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, so let's talk about let's rewind a little bit. So you get you you take a ballsy move. Mm -hmm. You you know approach an agency. They tell you, of course, you're a beautiful girl. Come down. Let's do this whole thing. What was your first scene like? Because going from someone that was promiscuous and being in your personal life is very mm -hmm. different from going on a porn set where there's lights, there's you know someone doing paperwork, they're making sure that you're tested and all these things. Like, how nervous were you, or were you nervous at all? I wasn't nervous, actually. My first scene was for MoFo's. Okay. Lee Alexis directed it. She's fabulous. Um, I wasn't nervous until I saw my co-star's dick. Then I was like... Who was the co-star? Alex Legend, and he has... 
like it's like this long and a coke can oh okay i'm like i don't know if i've seen that dick he's i don't think i've def- I definitely didn't fuck him but maybe I, sometimes i forget he's I don't think so. like a very tall frenchman just like ripped okay i don't know we'll have to see the pictures later but okay it's not bad all right so I, yeah. you were like damn that's huge probably the biggest thing that's gone in my vagina and yeah. i'm about to go <laughs> you whatever so that's what the part that made you nervous i saw it it made me nervous and then i was just like you know what you psyched yourself up and like you know what girl i got this yeah as long as i like don't lock my jaw or anything we'll be fine is that something that happens to you like lock jaw or i sometimes after a set i'll come home and i'll be like wow i can't really open my mouth all right okay (laughs) okay at least we can open wide yeah you know we get it there as long as you can get it there professional i like it tongue does the rest i like it (laughs) so okay so you end up doing the scene you mm-hmm. absolutely had to love it because you're still yeah. here in this chair. You have a big smile on your face. <laughs> so what did you do after that point? They were like, hey, these are these trial scenes. You were like, fuck it. I love it. You stayed at the model house. Mm-hmm. What did you progress? How did you like move to the next levels of your career? So after a while, I just decided living in the model house, um, it can be really great for a lot of people. But for me, it just wasn't what I wanted. I'm, I want my space. Mm-hmm. Um, so I moved out of the model house. I left that agency and I joined my current agency, which is OC models. Okay. I'm with Sandra. She's the best. Nice. Um, and I just started looking for other opportunities. I think for the first six months of my career, like a lot of girls, I was taking every scene that was being thrown my way. Okay. There was no thought about, is this what I want? Now, is that when you say that, because in porn, you know, there's different for the people out there that don't know, there's different categories. So it's like, you'll never not, you'll never go to set and be like, oh, you're, you know, unexpected gangbang or unexpected anything like those, because it's like, those are the things that you have yes lists and a no list of certain things. So it's like, you kind of know to a degree. And do you mean it like that as far as like you took any like, boy girl scene or were there scenes that you weren't comfortable with doing at that time you just didn't know because you were new i think a big rhetoric when you first get into the industry is if you say no to a director they'll never work with you again because they'll think you're like problematic messy whatever um just Porn out myth of, legend yeah just out of trying to protect my career knowing that i loved what i was doing I didn't give myself the time and space to say, hey, I can't take every shoot that they Mm. want me to shoot. I need sometimes to have a day off. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with saying, hey, I actually kind of don't want fingers in my butt today. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Like, do you mind if we do something else instead? And I think coming with taking the time to be able to step back and not living in a model house, not constantly being surrounded by work, it gave me the space to say, I can do porn. And I can also do other things. And you can also do it your way. Yeah. Where it's like, I think sometimes, you know, I think you're right when you say you get kind of highly influenced by people mm-hmm. around you because it's not that big a deal maybe to them. But it's like right. you also kind of have to have your moral compass of mm-hmm. what makes Chloe feel good or yeah. you feel like you feel like, you know, you want to be a proud of what your body of work is and you know and kind of express yourself because then I feel like you have more way to kind of let loose in those scenes where you don't have these walls up while you're doing it if you work yourself so much that you're having a hard time being on set because you're thinking about the next scene that you have to do you're doing too much Mm -hmm. it's so now with that being said you kind of limited how much you do like how often do you work nowadays what limit or boundaries did you put on yourself now to kind of feel comfortable i try not to take more than 15 scenes a month okay i typically keep it between like five and ten that's just where i'm comfortable i like shooting of stuff in my spare time um, so that's not including your OF stuff. That's just going no. for like mainstream companies. Well, I don't really shoot boy girl for OF anymore. Okay. I think that being on an OnlyFans set can be different from being on a pro set. Can and you kind of elaborate on that level? Did something bad right. or bad experience happen? Is that why or? No, I just generally think that it's it's two different kinds of performing. When you're on a pro set generally you have lines you have a camera guy you have a sound guy you have a director you have a pa it's a whole production when you're doing an only fan shoot typically it's at somebody's house or an apartment and i'd say the majority of the time it's just you and that other person mm. things happen in the adult industry where sometimes lines are crossed boundaries get messy and just for me and like the sake of protecting my career and myself and also just feeling comfortable unless I 
have that those other components there of other you don't bodies. feel safe yeah yeah i mean some yeah. of these people like you you don't meet you've never met them you've just talked to them on social media they for sure anyone. i can get that i mean i i don't shoot with anybody on my only fans other than mm-hmm. myself but i always wonder like how does that really that conversation come up because back you know when i was shooting it was people doing their own websites so, mm-hmm. so it's like oh we want to shoot content together but you're also on set at that time so you kind of get a familiarity of who they are or who they've worked for or things like that where nowadays it's anybody could really be an of model or of performer or of yeah. whatever and also with that being said it's like everybody like who i work with and you work with and this mm-hmm. like two different days apart could be two totally different experiences yeah. you know what i mean so i feel like it's safe and really nice that you can kind of hold your ground and really kind of put yourself in that situation but still be part of the adult mm-hmm. industry and what makes you feel comfortable and mm-hmm. i think a lot of people and performers don't really do that and they kind of just do what they're quote unquote supposed to do what they think people want them to do and i think that it kind of burns them out a lot quickly more quickly than it would be if you just did it the way you did it for me i come from you know people push me to want to do all types of different scenes that I was like I'll right. do it when I'm ready to do it because then I know that I fully will be in that scene and I'll fully be present to give you what you want and I do think that is something that as we talked about before comes with age when I was 18 19 I didn't have the ability to say no especially being asked twice because sometimes that happens and they'll be like are you sure that are you sure when you're a young girl people pleasing it becomes oh, very yeah. yeah it becomes a very scary thing and then you're asking yourself well am i sure am i making this too big of a deal and the answer generally is no that's your boundary and everybody's boundary looks different for sure so what is your favorite type of scene to do oh i love a group scene i love okay. as many people as possible what's if, the most number of people that you've been with in a scene in a scene i've only been with up to four four people okay in my personal life that's a little different (laughs) what's in your personal life I love threesomes in my personal life and I think the niche that I've I didn't mean to fall into it but I fuck a lot of twins okay that's interesting (laughs) I it's happened three times do they does do their parts look alike (laughs) depends on the twin twin ever in my life I don't know I mean (laughs) I don't know if I'd be opposed to it, but I mean, do their dicks look exactly the same? Or is it boy and female twins? No. Cause generally, girl twins are, like, too smart for that. Okay, okay. But like, Generally. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. Okay, so... I've only fucked identical male twins. I've fucked three sets. How do you find all these twins? Or do they find you? <laughs> I was a civilian. I wasn't in the industry. I think I was in college the first time it happened. Um, how did this appro- how did th- talk me through this? So we're like, <laughs> hey, you want to fuck me and my brother? I. It was a na- national hockey tournament. They were in Hot. town. Hot. I matched with one brother on Tinder. He was like, hey, come back to the hotel room after drinks. I did. His twin brother was there. Appeared he, from the bathroom and I said, hey, you want two, not one, two for one special? She had also been drinking and then we fucked. Okay. It and it was great. Yeah. I mean, the first time is always the best time when you're going to be doing something like different Because it's sexually. taboo. Yeah. And it makes you wet just because you're not supposed to, mm-hmm. but you know you want to. Yeah. So it's like, okay, okay. <laughs> so that was the first time. Yeah. The second time. Different second twins. Second time. Different twins always different twins okay never the same repeating twins no do you ever talk to the twins after how do you know which one to talk to more i don't talk to anyone after i'm done fucking them are you kidding me good job good job you're here for a reason i don't need you after this we're fine listen up private talk she (laughs) said what she said and she does not apologize no the second second set of twins they were um like motor bikes motocross people yeah motocross yeah okay they rode motocross. They were in town. All sexy set of like yeah. things that they're doing. Okay, hockey, motocross. Mm-hmm. The third set. Um, so how, was actually, that the same type of scenario? Was that, like you were, yeah. you met or you hooked up or you matched with one person on Tinder and their brother and their brother just magically appeared. Well, we, or he's on your Tinder we profile. Gone into I accept the bar. twins. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me up. We had um, gone to like their rally or whatever, and they asked to have drinks after, and there were a bunch of us there. Slowly, people started dropping like flies, and then it was just me and the boys. Was, was there like, one point at that night that when they were dropping like flies that you knew, like, hey, this looks familiar, and I feel like yeah. this is going to happen again, so you, like, pried into it? Because now you already <laughs> fucked twins. Now it's not, like, the first time. Your cherry was already popped. Yeah. So now you're, like, a little deviant, like. Well, I was sitting there, and I remember very clearly, 
I had one boy's hand on one leg <laughs> and the other brother's hand on the other. I was like, okay, well, nice. This is going to go one way. <laughs> Do you ever favor one brother more than the other? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean. Interesting. Yeah. They're so they're not the same. So it, personality goes a long way, I think. Okay, but their dicks are the same. Depends. I mean, sometimes one has, like, a little bit of an extra curve. Okay. I mean, I feel like dicks curve more depending on, like, the way you stroke it. Okay, it so if one's left-handed or one's right-handed, we're going to see which way yeah, you're going to but go. maybe, like, he throws, like, an extra flick at the end, and so the head's curved a little more. Okay, okay. Yeah. So third set. I can't believe there's a third time. I this know. is, like, this is... <laughs> the third time was the bad time. It has warded me off. Okay. All other twins. So you're no more twins. No. So what made this experience the worst out of, like, the best two ones that already happened? The other two were not into each other. The brothers. The brothers. Well, the do you want them to be into no, each other? So no, is that a bad thing? <laughs> the third set, I felt like I felt like I was interrupting. Oh, got it, got it, got yeah. it. The other, the first two di- weren't into each other. The, this last pair, they it was like the Island Boys where they making out with each other. <laughs> we were I was I was in doggy, one behind, one in front. I looked up and I realized there was a lot of eye contact going on and I was like, I don't I'm going to have to tap. Oh, so you left before cum was dispersed. Yeah. Good for you. I don't know what they did after. I don't even know. <laughs> was it the Island Boys? No, it wasn't. <laughs> I I think if they had kissed, I would have just had to kind of like roll, roll out, out, of out of there that. and be like, yeah. I'm not here. You guys can continue on your journey in whatever way. No judgment. <laughs> but it's not judgment. for me. But it's not for me. Okay, no. so... You went through a twin fetish. I now that's over. Twin phase, yeah. Not mad at it. Not mad at it. I, you know, there's you not very know many when you're times done with I'm speechless <laughs> about certain things. But I just, I just keep imagining three sets of twins all standing there naked about like how similar are they really? Like, you know, well, like twins are different. Like sometimes there's a twin that's like half an inch shorter, but like, mm. you know, you can tell. The mm. hair is different, especially as True. men get older. They want to differentiate a little bit. A little bit. So like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm here with that. In the dark, it gets a little iffy. So since we're on this subject right now, it's not what I wanted to ask next. <laughs> but this is like, this is, was that what you say was like a fetish? Or like, what other fetishes do you have? Because that's something that's really unique. So is there anything like, what fetishes really do you have? It's embarrassing. I have like a cheating thing. Okay, so you like... I don't want to. I don't want to cheat. I think it's like kind of hot when a dude cheats on me, though. <laughs> <laughs> I know Hold it's up. really masochistic. What? Okay, so you want your man to cheat on you with like permission? It's kind of like you know. But how do you permission-wise cheat, or is it just an open door policy that? Like, come up and ask me for permission. Be like, yo. But then that's not cheating. She's hot. Like, I'm gonna go fuck her, and then you're gonna suck my dick after. But is that cheating, though? Because I'm like, you're giving permission. Now, if I got my dick sucked, not that I have one, but if I had one, it would be big. But if I had one and then I went back to you and was like, hey, I just fucked this girl and now you're going to suck my dick. That to me is hot. hot. Because you're not at the permission part. It like makes the cheating not really cheating because you're like giving a pass. I think that like it's just like knowing that he's like fucking other bitches. Okay, it's kind of hot. Have you ever dated someone in the industry? Does that turn you on as far as fucking other bitches? No, because it's messy. How is it messy? Have you had someone that was made a messy situation or you've just seen no, from afar? It's not even... Ha- you don't even have to see. Have you, you ever worked in a restaurant? Eat. Yeah. It's incestuous as hell. They're, everybody's fucking each other and then it just... Feelings get hurt. Mm, people get fired. I guess I was at the wrong restaurant. I didn't fuck any um, of the people. When I worked in a restaurant, I fucked a lot of the Did people. Did you fuck the manager? No, but they thought I did. I almost got <laughs> fired because of it. <laughs> That was the one that I didn't That's fuck. the one you should have fucked and you wouldn't have gotten fired. See, you gotta go from the head chain first and you... Yeah. I was young. I'm still learning my lessons. <laughs> Levels. You're 24. You're so young. Good to go. <laughs> if you could change jobs, would you? And if... What would it be? Honestly, Would you go I, back to being a lawyer? Or no. would you... Or I guess you didn't get to that point yet, but wanting to be go that route? Or would you stay in what you're in? The dream has never been to have a job. Got I it. I think a lot of 
I don't know. I, yeah. Like, I don't want to have a job. But in a job have... sense of, like, that it doesn't feel like work or you just don't want to work and want to be taken care of? More so, the second I receive payment for something, that's not, like, I think this is different because it has, like, a different aspect of the way I'm receiving payment. But, okay. you know, clocking into a job, having a nine to five where, like, I have a lunch break and stuff. That's not what I want to do anymore. <laughs> I love go I love going to the gym. I like having a saucy little lunch by myself. Okay. Half a bottle of white wine on a Tuesday will change your life. I like it. I like I like your style. I'm not <laughs> mad at any of that. I had a cocktail at lunch. We're new. It's great. It's fun. It it's makes five you feel a little somewhere. special. Yeah. And when you're on, when you're your own boss, you know you make your own rules and i fired myself a couple times but i always have to come back to work so yeah there's that sometimes you have to take like a week off and be like okay you're fired <laughs> figure it out you know at this point <laughs> of your career what personal accomplishment are you most proud of i just released an anal with browsers awesome about a month ago and that was crazy was it some does anal something you do in your personal life already it is. So it's why was this enjoy. scene crazier than something you've already done? Well, I had never done it in any capacity professionally. Mm -hmm. So the level of dick I was taking in my ass was different. I shot this with Manuel. Oh, okay. So that's a, yeah. He's thick, guys. There's a lot of he's, them. He's not as thick as some, but he's, he's French and he's... <laughs> <laughs> I stopped working with him a, many moons ago mm. for um, personal reasons as far as like my ex-husband and him were really good friends and I was friends oh, with his wife so at the time so it was like you're gonna get too personal when you do outside things I'm like yeah you can't fuck me anymore great guy that is the his, thing that, you know his uh, yeah. karaoke skills need a little work but you know <laughs> that's another story if my friend in the industry is dating somebody else in the industry, I don't want to fuck them anymore. It makes me feel weird. Well, it's like once you know, like all the like personal details, because like, yeah. I always try to keep things very separate. I'm like, I like to fuck everybody. I just don't want to know your business. Once I know your mm -hmm. business, I don't, I don't want to fuck you because then yeah. it's like an emotional thing. And I'm and cool with that. It's like, oh, like, I, so it was crazy because of the, the, how big it was. Was there anything yes. that maybe pushed you to the limits of like something that you've never done before? Is I don't think so. It was just I've never, intense. Yeah, it was just really intense. Um, we were outside. It was a horse scene, which okay. sounds different than it is. Um, <laughs> Not I, horse cop. No, but, no, 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 no. Just, I was a cowgirl. Ooh. Uh -huh. I was hoping that I would ride the horse for the scene. But I Didn't think happen. that... I think the second you bring an animal into a porn set, then, like, they... I don't know if they have to do, like, different contract codes or something. Like... Okay. I don't know. Not sure how that works. Maybe he didn't give consent that day. Who knows? <laughs> Going on. <laughs> what social media platform do you use the most what is something that you instagram instagram an embarrassing amount it's almost like a re just like a reaction at this point i go and my thumb just immediately goes to the instagram toggle okay is it what's if you ever get like stuck down a rabbit hole like what is like is there, are you a meme girl do you like I just, I'm just so nosy I want to know what everybody's up to I love going through people's stories and being like oh I recognize that house. Okay. I know where you are right now. Okay, so your little private eye over there. Yeah, you, you know, know. do your little investigation to see who's <laughs> yeah. fucking who. <laughs> it's fun. I I'm love not, being nosy. I'm not mad at that. I'm a great people <laughs> watcher, so I like to, you know, I'm intrigued. When I go out, I love to sit at a restaurant with my friends and be like, I bet they're on a first date and it's going poorly. And this is why. I like that. Favorite Your own game. novellas happening out right <laughs> in real time. What do you look for in a partner? Partners are weird. I okay. was engaged once. Um, How'd that go? You said it. <laughs> <laughs> Not well. So let's back up. Are you single? Are you in a relationship? What is your current relationship status? I am single. Okay. Not looking. Not looking. No. So you say partners are weird. Partners are weird in the aspect of they are trying to control you. Maybe it's partners that you picked or is it because after you got engaged, things changed? Explain, elaborate for it's us. It's two things. One, I think as a young woman, the first time you get engaged and it doesn't work out, it's very disillusioning. You can't sit around and be like, gosh, I wonder what our baby's names are gonna be. We're not having kids. You're not, <laughs> we're not moving in together. I mean, you're lucky if you're paying for my popcorn at this movie. Like, I don't want you that close to me. Do you I have mean, men coming on really strong and saying all those things? Yeah, I have 
you know, okay. dudes are weird. The second that they feel like you don't want them in your bubble, they need to work that much harder to make you like them. I do agree with that. I feel like I feel like that's with both sexes, though. Yeah, I feel I mean, like because people don't like rejection, so therefore yeah. they're like, "But what did I do?" <laughs> I'm the same way. Okay, you could be the bummiest rug, like bug looking man that I've ever seen, but the second you're like, "No, you're like kind of ugly," I'm like, "Okay, tell me more." <laughs> What do you think about? So you like rejection, you like being cheated on. <laughs> what is these things? I like mind games. Like I get bored really easily, which is the other part. I am the problem. It's okay. not them, it's me. Okay, well at least you're aware. But yeah. I also think it comes with age. Like you said, you're twenty four, you have a lot of life to give. I feel like even being engaged at twenty I don't know what t- I age. Was twenty. Okay, twenty. Oh. Then you know, it's like it's it's learning lessons of a like is this really gonna be the person i'm gonna spend my life with and like what are these things am i doing it because i feel like i'm gonna be alone forever like you know there's all these Mm -hmm. things that we kind of grow into because we don't val we need validation from other things and then we realize oh wait no i don't need anybody i have myself and i'm gonna such a good time by myself that honestly you have to be a really big addition to my life in like multiple aspects that that's the only to fit into yeah would you consider dating a female yeah i mean have you before in the past i have dating other women in la is tricky i feel like everybody knows each other and girls gossip i know i'm one of those gossipy (laughs) girls but are you fucking girls and trying to date girls in the industry or are you just putting yourself out there because i feel like la is small but it also depends on what circles you run into like run in and i feel like the younger we are, we kind of get into conformity of like, oh, mm-hmm. like, you know, if it's the porn parties or like the typical places that everybody goes to where it's like, if you really want to like explore those things, you kind of have to like, what works for me? Is it what your hobbies are and finding yeah. other people in those things? And then I feel like you're not really as two degrees of separation of things than it would be like when you're immersed in it completely. I'm really lucky in that I have friends in the industry who I have the same hobbies as. Mm-hmm. So we go and do that kind of stuff a lot. Like I love camping. Okay. I have dogs. All of my friends have dogs. So we have puppy play dates. Okay. Um, we do cute stuff like that. But when it comes to dating, I just feel like I don't date in industry. So a lot of the times civilians, my life is so far removed from theirs mm-hmm. that it can also be difficult to merge. And I'm not willing to compromise on anything. As you shouldn't. I think that, yeah. you know, you're too young to compromise for anybody unless you found someone that was willing to, like, what, meet your match in a sense. Yeah. But I also think, too, it's one of those things that we don't realize in that you say you're not looking for a partner, but it's also we attract what we're not looking for because yeah. you're openly or like putting that in the universe <laughs> that it, it, it trickily comes in like, well, look, you think that? Yeah. Let me put games in your mind, you know what I mean? And see what yeah. that really is. So it's like kind of it's like fun. changing there you go with those mind games again <laughs> fuck, around, <laughs> fuck around fuck around find out yeah for sure but i think it's 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 fun i mean you're in yeah. your 20s explore I'm like in my 20s we're in la the dudes here don't grow up until they're like 40 maybe like 38 40 is when they start like thinking like oh is this really what i want to do with my life do you like older men yeah i mean i think my age limit typically for dating has been like early 40s okay just because if you're 45 and you have that much in common with a 24 year old what are you doing fair enough not about not a bad question why are the other 45 year olds <laughs> not wanting to date you what did you do to them there's a lot of things you can say to that but yeah but it's true i mean yeah. they're, they're not wrong questions to have and i think that that's also part of the reason why you're single because it's like those are the reasons why you'll probably filing out later on and obviously yeah. every individual is completely different but what space you're in because someone to be that educated and immersed in like what like what your feelings are what your standards are what your boundaries mm-hmm. are is such a beautiful thing at such a young age so it's like you kind of have a better navigating things than most 20 year olds that would just be like oh fuck it let's just find out and let's just take this for a ride and you're like find mm. out oh my god that's the scariest thing that's the ther- scariest thing that could happen you finding out what <laughs> happens after you fuck around oh my god yeah you can't stick around for what happens after you gotta leave that's what you said you were, we're only here for a good time not a long time yeah do you have any tattoos that you regret? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a bee on my rib cage. What is the story behind the bee? There's no story. I'm a you young woman a and I'm stupid. Why do you think more bees, more flowers? They're all stupid. So you didn't stop with the bee. You just kept going. No, I kept going. Okay. Um, right. but that tattoo in particular. Do you want any more? No. No, you're no. done. I can't. 
every so often I like phase through and I'm like, I should get more tattoos. Would you um, ever remove the bee? Yeah. Yeah. But it's time to go. it just it seems like so much work, you know? Okay. It's not big enough that I have to like cover it up too much in shoots. What is one subscription that you cannot live without? Probably Spotify. I listen to a lot of music. Okay, Spotify. Yeah. Do you watch porn solo or with a partner? Um, I've watched my porn with partners before, but it's always really awkward. It's, okay, so you prefer solo. Yeah, I mean, I don't love watching porn to begin with. I'm kind of, if I'm going to watch porn, it's going to be like Twitter amateur stuff. Okay, so that's yeah. my next question. So what is your porn search history if you were watching porn? What would we find on your computer? Hentai, amateur porn, um... I have, like, very specific... I like a size kink, which... It's not the giantess stuff, which I know people, like, hear about. I just like it when a dude is, like, a lot bigger than me. Okay. Like, I... If you bend me over, your chin should go over my head, for sure. Okay. Like, there should be space. So, at least six feet. Yeah, at least. Okay. Like, You're, like, six six at least. What are you talking about? Six... <laughs> <laughs> You're just, like, six. Six two, six three. I think that's... That's your ideal. standard? Okay. That's, like, where I want it to be. Okay. Because after 6-6, six, six, you start looking a little weird in the face. Things get spread out differently. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> You've thought about this a lot. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say is your biggest pet peeve? What is something that just completely turns you off? It just irks you. When people don't have consideration for public space. Mm. If you're in a public space, there's just some things that you need to be considered of. Like sharing the sidewalk. Don't just stop and stand there like the crowd of six of you. What are you doing? In the Move. middle. Mm -hmm. Stand to the side. I feel that way in airports. Airports that the luggage thing is the, the Don't worst. Get started. I feel like I wanted to write an airport etiquette book because it's so fucking annoying. Ladies will come up and stand right in front of you on purpose. I swear you're going to get your bag, Shirley. You're fine. <laughs> Not the Shirley. <laughs> Back in Shirley. He's got it again. Mine is, like, with the kids that do it. Like, they normally, like, just won't let them. Just like, you know, you have it. I'll wait back here. I used to make fun of the kids on the leashes. But if I was a parent, <laughs> absolutely I would have a leash. <laughs> I was one of the kids on a leash. I definitely you really? was a kid on a leash for one point in time. Oh. I think it was only at Disneyland, I think, or Disney World, whatever it was. And then, like, I had a cousin who was way more, like, like trouble than i was so he, he, the leash got put on to oh, <laughs> not me but it it was a leash upon there was that always time. like two different levels of leashes too there was the backpack one <laughs> that was, was like back snuggling one. and then there was like a heavier duty like it looked like a, dog like a fucking harness <laughs> <laughs> those were intense i didn't have one of those i it was like a cute little backpack thing i think it was the disney cute. thing whatever yeah. yeah but not really when you're fucking being pulled back on a fucking <laughs> thing <laughs> but you know i i didn't have to be leashed i was too afraid of Everyone. But you're going to leash your children if you have them. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> two at one time? I don't know about two kids. That's a lot. <laughs> okay, so only one and done. Yeah, I mean, my biggest fear is, I think it's called an episiotomy, where the space, but your taint basically splits and your vagina and your asshole becomes one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> kids so i don't know how that is but i have heard about that whole thing the tearing thing and it doesn't mm -hmm. seem very they have um, to stitch you back together i'm so afraid of it so but you do it one try it one time to see if it happened maybe i hear a lot of different things about pregnancy that scare me like when a dude impregnates you some of his dna gets transcribed into your genetic code so you might be uglier after you <laughs> what this where are happens. you getting these facts uh medical professionals google again <laughs> a little bit <laughs> i mean also like your foot size changes like everything changes like your i hear your like pussy gets blue at one point during pregnancy blue? at times yeah oh. i don't know any of these things so i mean I, this is news to me <laughs> maybe I, there's a I, there's different so strokes many different for different things folks. that can happen when you're pregnant i'm not willing to risk it okay so you won't you don't <laughs> want kids until like later on i'm assuming i really love the idea of adopting a kid okay um i think there's a lot of kids especially like in america right now who don't have homes or access to health care even if i wasn't to adopt a kid i think donating a large portion of whatever money that i have at the end to yeah uh, yeah selfless i like that oh well, i mean they're kids yeah they didn't choose to be here, you mm -hmm. know? You gotta give them what they need to survive. 
best gift you've ever gotten? Um, I'm not good with gifts. Okay. I break a lot of things. Okay. Um, I think the best gift is like an experience. I love a thoughtful gift. Like if you were to give me a rock and you were like, hey, I found this in Germany like a week ago, thought of you, that'd be great. Okay. Even if it was bullshit, I'd be like, yeah, no, I'll treasure this. Okay. I like that. Thoughtful. Yeah. How do you define cheating? You said you have a cheating fetish of the sense of like, you know, you like that whole thing. But what do you really determine? What is cheating for you? If you don't feel comfortable telling your partner about it, which I know goes against what we talked about earlier. If you don't feel comfortable telling your partner about it, it's cheating. Okay. You inherently know what your partner is not cool with. So physical, emotional, everything goes with that. Yeah. Every relationship is different. Some people, you can like like a girl's Instagram and she's like, that's cheating. Mm -hmm. Some dudes are like, yeah, as long as like I don't put my penis inside of her and thrust, I'm not cheating on her. Mm -hmm. So everybody has a different thing. But if you wouldn't tell your girl that probably shouldn't do it fair biggest goal for this year um potty training my dog okay how old is your dog a new he's eight weeks he's really young but it's been a struggle so far what kind of dog he's a rescue i have no idea okay yeah just got him he's really cute but potty training is 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 special it's hard work he keeps pissing on like my set work Mm. clothes i don't think that's too sexy for the directors when they have to look through the clothes but no, you know i it's awful <laughs> it's really bad <laughs> like i swear it's my dog it's not me it's I not promise. me i promise would you say that you masturbate more than you have sex yes how many times do you masturbate during the week on a daily average it's like three times three times day. like like a meal that's yeah okay so your vagina is hungry Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, baby. Got him. Like it. <laughs> now, are you more of a Hitachi girl, a dildo girl? Do you have to have sex? You know, what is like your, if you had your choice? Hitachi, I mean, is king. Hitachi works for everyone. Mm-hmm. You can use a Hitachi on a dude and it's equally as good. You've used it on a dude? Yeah. Mm. I was a, um, I domed briefly. Okay. So I would like tie the Hitachi to like the tip of his head and just like leave him there. Oh. After like an hour. Like, Did he yeah, come he on coming. himself? Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. An hour? That's intense Hitachiness for an hour. I really low the, level. I'm like, I can't even put the Hitachi on my vagina for an hour. Well, you know, it's, you know, you can, like, strap him there and, like, clean your apartment and stuff while nice. he's, he's blindfolded. Okay, he's Dom. Okay, Dom. I find it like this. You know, he'll get there when he gets there. Oh, <laughs> uh, one night stand. What are your thoughts? I can have a one night stand after I know, like, certain things about you. But, like, I have to know where you grew up. I have to know how old you are. And I have to know what you're going to be doing tomorrow. So they don't no. bother you for the tomorrow part? Well, like, what is as long as they're not crazy. Because, like, dudes were like, well, I assume we're hanging out tomorrow. Oh. We're spending like, you're the like, night you, tonight. you need somewhere to go the like, next day. You're not spending the night. So are these conversations that happen in, like, the bar or whatever place that you see, like, the where are they from, those types of things before the white night stand, or something that needs to be talked about before you even meet them? I will go on a date and then just never call them again after I sleep with them that night. But I won't pick up dudes from the bar. Okay. That's crazy to me. Like, you don't know who this man is true but you don't know who the man is on set that you're about to fuck either but you know he's tested i know he's tested and i know that it's work so it's different you know okay a little bit so do you consider work sex not sex yeah i it's an unpopular answer okay but I don't consider it to be sex. Okay. I mean, a lot of performers, I'm like, I, I don't do boy girl anymore, but a lot of my girlfriends, I'll ask, they're like, oh, I haven't been having sex. I'm like, but didn't you work? They're like, that's not the same thing. And I'm like, but you're still getting dick. They're like, but it's different. I'm like, but he's showing to camera. I'm not getting all of it. Yeah, but aren't you coming? No. You don't come on set? Sometimes, but like, it's iffy. At first, I was coming all of the time. Okay. And now I'm like, well, He's not really hitting that spot as much as I wish he was, you know, like. See, for me, there's one thing that I can find about that person that I'm going to get off. I'm not just going to fuck to fuck because I'm going to fuck because I need to, like, come. I'm selfish. I need it. It's just going to happen. It's like a VR set, though. 
You see, I never I really, come on I, VR I didn't really, I maybe did one VR scene in the yeah. very beginning when it first came about and it definitely was not fun. So is that something that's typically more prone to be on set now as VR type yeah, of stuff? I'll, I do a lot of VR. I do, you know, POV shoots are hard to come because you're just staring down the barrel mm. of the camera. Um, and like, depending on the POV shoot, bright lights everywhere, you're blinded. And then there's just some, like, kitschy little fantasies that these script writers have that I'm like, ah, not for me. <laughs> not not really for me. Like, the free use? Have mm, you seen that? I don't know. What is that? So, people are going through their da- daily lives, doing their things, and they're just casually fucking while continuing conversations. Like, if a dude was eating me out right now and I was just like, that's okay. free use. And that's, they're doing that on set? Yeah. It's a scene. I don't like it. It's not for me. That's distracting. It is. Interesting. And you're on camera supposed to be pretending like you're not getting fucked. And it just feels like I like I can't come to that. Like I'm not yeah, supposed to be I having fun. S- I could see how that's very like not sexy. Where yeah. it's like pleasurably sexy in a sense. Yeah. Spit or swallow? Swallow. Every time. Every time. It's faster. Sexting or FaceTime? FaceTime. Hand jobs or blow jobs? Blow jobs. Short or fat? Cock. Fat. Long or skinny? Skinny, I guess. Do you eat pussy and ass? I do. Which do you prefer? Ass. Ass? It's fun. Hmm. Different different reactions. I like that. Yeah. (laughs) Let's see. Have you ever had sex on a toilet seat? No. Would you? Personal or public? I mean, I feel like that's Either a or. big... I'd have sex... I'd, I've done it on the sink. Like, the sink yeah. is fine, but, like, not on the toilet. That's okay. A little pu- pushing it? Yeah, I mean... What if you were bent over the toilet? No. No? Not no. for you? Just the I, sink? I could blow, like... I've broken d- a sink being on the sink. Yeah, but that, like, it's fun. I could blow him Because it wasn't my sink. It was fun because I broke... Oh, that's true. <laughs> I could blow him on the floor of the bathroom, okay. but I don't think I could, like, look at the... Yeah, no, it's... Fair. Something's gonna draw me out of it. Would you attend a swingers party? Yes. Oh, my God, I do. Have you? Yeah. Okay. They're fun. Would you participate? Would you only be a viewer and watch? All of the above. I think it depends on the night. I okay. definitely participated. Okay. It's fun. Mm, do you like being spanked during sex? I do. It. It's, you know... I don't have as much ass as I think you or some of our other coworkers do. Okay. But a good ass slap, I want to see your handprint. I want to go home you and get about it. You want to feel the pain. So when you yeah. feel like, when you look at it the next time, like, oh, yeah, that happened. The crop is also good. Big fan of a crop. My rule was only, you can only spank me if your dick's inside me, but don't spank me otherwise. <clears throat> I think a walking spank. Dudes who do that when you're walking by, not mm. my favorite. Maybe like a tap, but not like a, where you're leaving a handprint, because then you have issues, and I'll probably smack you back. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, shortest sex session. Maybe like five, ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. What are your thoughts on OnlyFans? I think OnlyFans is kind of like Etsy. It's okay. a really great way for small um, performers to get their work out there and for a lot of people to get their work out there regardless of whatever their art is. Whether it's porn, whether it's, I think they have like cooks on there mm-hmm. who do that, yoga sessions. Yeah. I think it's a great tool. Um, I prefer pro scenes just okay. because I think as we talked about, like only fans can be just like a little bit tricky. Okay. Yeah. What is a common sexual act that you dislike? I don't love being eaten out. Okay. I know that's like very controversial, but I'd rather get fingered any day. Okay. I Which is be- funny because most people are the opposite. Most girls like in the industry were like, I want you to eat me out, but don't put your fingers inside me. I'd much rather have the fingers than being eaten out, unless it's another girl. Another girl can eat me out. But, like, dudes, there's always, like, stubble and stuff. I feel like I don't love making the eye contact while they're down there. I feel like I'm taking too long. Just put your fingers in me. We'll be fine. I'll Just sit down, relax, and enjoy the ride, Chloe. Honestly, Just sit down and enjoy the ride. There's ugh. never a race to when you need to get off. They need us to do better. I hate feeling taken care of. It's so hard. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay. 
When's the last time you had sex? Yesterday. Was it for work or was it yeah. for pleasure? It was for work. Okay. Yeah, I had fun. Best pickup line ever used on you. I miss you. Oh, and that worked? Yes, it did. Okay. I it's my favorite pickup line. I love like immediately jumping in and being like, Oh my god, I missed you too, baby. Like Do you mean it though? No. <laughs> neither do, neither do they. <laughs> Who is your first celebrity crush? Pierce Brosnan. Interesting. Do you mm-hmm. masturbate to him still this day? A no. <laughs> <laughs> it very specific Pierce Brosnan. Lexington Steel or no, not Lexington Remington Steel. Oh, sorry. I saw Lexington Steel and, and He's Pierce on Brosnan. My mind. <laughs> He's on Get my mind. Get the dick out of your mind. <laughs> Somebody sent me his photo earlier, and so I'm still thinking about that. Like, he's you know, de- you know he's, the photo. He's very, he's very hung. Um, Remington Steele and then Goldeneye from James Bond. Those okay, were the ones so that's that, specific scenarios. Yeah. And, you know, now I know a lot more about Pierce Brosnan. He's aged. Okay. It's different now. Is there anything you regret saying no to? Mm, no. 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 All no right. regrets. I like that. I, I feel like if anybody had the confidence of that, I feel like you either would try it or not. No regrets. Well, I mean, even if it didn't work out very well, whatever. I mean... At least you tried it. I'm learning. For yeah. sure. I always like to try things at least like three times because, you know, first mm-hmm. time's a little awkward. Second time's you really know. And the yeah. third time, you should definitely know. And if I'm like right off the bat saying no to something, generally, I know that it's something that I don't want. Fair. Yeah. All right, now we're going to get to my favorite part, Truth with Texas. We're going to ask you a little bit more racier questions now that we've got you warmed up. (laughs) All right, so let's see. Spicy questions. Mm -hmm. Is there something completely off limits for you in the bedroom? Oh, yeah. um, You're like, what should we let me count? Diaper? Like the DDLG. What the fuck is that? Daddy, Dom, little girl. Are they like age play is they put limits. they put you in a diaper i'm 24 i'm not have you ever done that no so you just no, no, no. have somebody asked you to do that mm-hmm. people ask for scenes like that mm-hmm. interesting y'all are some I've been, interesting i've gotten requests for like to be changed which <laughs> <laughs> like not to kink shame anybody but like you no, should be a little sh- bit ashamed like, i a little mean bit. <laughs> I mean, to each his own is my thing, but I just don't understand that one. But I I mean, I don't think it's supposed for me to understand. But I recently got offered 25K for a dude to like send his sperm to me and record myself drinking it. I'm not doing that. Interesting. Is that the weirdest request you've ever gotten? One of them. What's some other ones? Uh, I drool a lot during scenes. So I think one of my more popular requests is I will drool into a solo cup about that much and then drink it. How is that? Have you, ever, have you ever gagged? Yeah, it gets cold. <laughs> it's <laughs> mad cold. So it's, how much is that for someone if they want you to do all that? It's like $500. Okay. Yeah. Make your money, girl. Make your money. If that's what you want me to spend my time doing, like, I mean, I'd rather drink money. my own spit than I would someone's random cum being sent right? from who fucking knows where. And, like, I mean, unless you're... Age. And then it'll be warm and weird and yeah. I separate. I don't know what it's going to separate with, but like, what if it. Yeah, that's. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Some of these dudes have like mad fucked up diets too. Like, <laughs> we just like, t- there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what is your worst hookup story? Oh, when I lost my virginity, that was really bad. What happened? Can we know about it? Private uh, Talk wants to know. I didn't really know him that well. Okay. Um, we hopped in the back of his green Prius. The green is very important. It's like a 2008 green Prius. Like, this is a very specific <laughs> car. <laughs> I was so nervous that I had taken an edible before. I was so faded that I didn't speak to him. I just hopped into the back with him. And you didn't know this person? Well, we knew each other, but it was like... Why, we did, you, why did you decide this person for the first time? Because you were just like, I need to get it over with? Or like... Yeah. Okay. I was 16. I was going to a new school. All um, right. So you took an edible and was like, let's hop in the car. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he lost his boner. Oh. I bled on the back seat. I was oh. so embarrassed that I walked home. <laughs> Bad hookup story. <laughs> Did we, you ever talk to him again? Yeah, we hooked up um, like three years later. It couldn't have been that bad. I mean, he came back. To- <laughs> the stain was still on the back seat. 
he picked me up and I turned around and it was there and he was like, yeah, I think about you all the time. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Dirty dick motherfucker. Like, why? Is it, you don't know how to You clean can't your- steam it out? Interesting. Three years, though? That's yeah. a long time. That is definitely a great story. Definitely. <laughs> Did you do it again in the back seat? No, but, like, the sex was not as good the second time. Did Even you go- though the first time was, like, ten seconds and nothing. Did you go back for third? No. So it was over. You just I had just to need- redeem yourself yeah. so you didn't bleed on him and nothing happened? I had to make sure that it wasn't me, that, like, I could get a dick hard. I did not have sex until I had sex with him again. Was that something in your head that you thought that it was you? Yeah. Mm. Oh, my God. Like- he, he was inside of me. Okay. And he lost his vote. Bo- I was a virgin. I had no idea. True, just true. Just, like like limp bacon just went down oh it was sorry to make you relive that moment again you're like oh. i think i've spent my entire life making up for it hey you're doing a pretty good job you know you're here at private here. talk telling us about all your sex capades i appreciate it private talk appreciates <laughs> do you like dirty talk i do but i don't like like don't tell me i taste like heaven mm. is that, that what most guys say some dudes will like pull that out and they'll be like oh god you're so beautiful you taste so it's a pussy it tastes the same i mean variations but like you're not eating cool whip chill out so what would you say is an example of your dirty talk if you were someone was gonna buy a custom video from your only fans or hear something on your one of your mainstream scenes what is an example of dirty talk from chloe i make fun of people i'm like oh my god you little pervert did you really spend this money to watch me jerk a dildo off fucking slut like what are you doing go out and make more money and di- mm. like what Shaming. you should send your kids to college like <laughs> and they keep sending you more money <laughs> yeah it's fun <laughs> I like it. Give her all the money. Give her all the money. Money, please. Have you ever stayed in a relationship just for sex? The dick was just that good that you were just like, you know what? I have to stay a little bit longer. I train my boyfriends every time. Okay. I have to train them. I mean, I never get into Isn't a that relationship. exhausting? Yeah, but like, I never go, it, I never meet someone. I'm like, yeah, I want to date you. It's always like, I get trapped into it. Mm. I start going, I'm like, yeah, you're great. What happened to those boundaries? We only trap ourselves. I'm, I know, <laughs> but like then it's like, oh, I feel bad for him. I've tried to break no. up with him, and he's like said this, this, and this, and then it's like, oh, I can't break up with him. Mm. What if he, you know? <laughs> Didn't somebody go to jail for that? Like, I don't want to be the one. Yeah, not me. <laughs> Where is the craziest place you've had sex? Oh, like a high school baseball dugout. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> During a game? No. No, I was kidding. No, 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 no. <laughs> who is a celebrity hall pass i know you're single but if you had to have a hall pass celebrity wise we know pierce bronson is not that anymore adam sandler adam sandler oh my god seeing him run around in those baggy little basketball shorts (laughs) (laughs) okay throw like throw a three-pointer at me sandman okay we got all right he's married with kids so it's (laughs) Uh, have you ever broken up with somebody because they were bad in bed you said you have to teach all your boyfriends was there someone that just was not teachable that you're like get the fuck out of here i mean i've left in the middle before but i don't think i've broken up with somebody in the middle where you just like "Mm." where i'm just like i i think i'm gonna go home like like, clearly this isn't happening for me so gotta go peace out i'll see you later good game top porn stars do you have any? My first porn star was Carter Cruz. Okay. And I will be a Carter Cruz fan until I die. Have you worked with Carter Cruz? No, I have not. Okay. She, I don't believe she works anymore. She's a fantastic DJ now. Okay. And the first time I met her, absolutely starstruck. Um, Cute. I remember the first scene that I saw her in, the name and everything. It okay. was for Kink. It was Kink's Carter Cruz's Satanic Gangbang. Owen Gray was in it. She gets double stuffed. I love how you light up. You can really tell when they're really excited. They're like, oh my God, yes, it's like a little candy store. She's an incredible performer. I mean, like, I still watch it sometimes. I go back, it's grainy. I don't care. I still get my nut. Hey, once it pops, you just can't stop. (laughs) I mean, her porn hub bio, I don't know if it still is, but it used to be your girlfriend's favorite porn star. And Mm. I was always like, yeah, no, she's right. I like that. So she's your, your only one? I would say she is the one who, number one in your heart yeah i mean hey if you got that number one you got to stick with it baby <laughs> everybody else is just like so fantastic and wonderful but carter 
Carter just does it for me. She's also my type, so. Love it. Hmm. Do you use toys in the bedroom? Yes. Um, depending on who I'm fucking. Like, I'll, I'll use a strap. Like. I'll okay. A, like With a, your male partners? Sometimes. They ask for it. Or yeah. you just pull it out. No, 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 no. That's. They need to prep. I'm okay. not. My sheets? No way. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's they will ask it's not something where i'm like putting it against their thigh and being like hey you want to try something fun tonight you know you want to <laughs> come on back that thing up come on baby you know you want it i've been seeing you look at my pants all night <laughs> i can see you you know teasing those lines you know uh yeah i mean i've made dudes like accidentally like come in their mouths before but like accidentally that's, how do you like, they accidentally don't. i'm it's not an accident for me but it is for them you know all of a sudden, like, I just pointed at them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they say what? Why did you do that? <laughs> As they're eating it? Yeah. It's always like, why did you do that? Fuck you. That's awful. Why would you do that to me? It's kind of fun. I made a guy come in his mouth one time. It was fun. I Only just, it was on. It was a set, though, because it was like oh. it was like a competition thing. So it was shot POV. So the guy couldn't move. So the camera was behind him. And it's just me doing this. So I did it. And it was like went doop. And it went in his mouth, and he like wouldn't move. And then I kissed him oh. to make sure he really, you know, <laughs> really sink in. You could really taste it. I thought it was hot. I don't know how <laughs> he felt about fun. it, but all right, naughty questions, you naughty girl. I feel like you can all the <laughs> naughty questions. What is one of your biggest turn offs? Biggest turn offs? I have so many. Okay, list a few. Like a graphic T-shirt. Okay, lady boner. You're a grown man. Why are you wearing a graphic tee? Okay, all right, makes you dry. Got it. It's- like <laughs> sorry i'm sorry I <laughs> i'm so sorry i wasn't <sighs> I, I, I mean more like a band tee <laughs> 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 this is the best best it's my mistake um Live you, your truth, you, girl. Don't fuck the You truth. know what I mean, though? Like a Guns N' Roses t-shirt? Like, okay. what are you doing? All right, all right. Or like, um... <laughs> the Prince? <laughs> <laughs> camo, I guess. Like, camo's also a turn off. No camo. Yeah. Okay. I want to see you when I fuck you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Funny girl. I like it. I like it. You got... Give me one more. Since Joker. <laughs> Turn off. <laughs> One more turn off. Um, really long sideburns. That's something that drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Mutton chop type yeah. of fucking such. People have those haircuts anymore? You go to Where Silver you? Lake, you will see anything. Really? Oh, we need to get they you out mullets, of there, girl. They what have, are you like, the Oakley sunglasses. I'm tired. I'm Dress tired. Like a man. <laughs> Do you like to role play? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's weird. Am I not enough? Do I have to be something else for you to come for me? I like, mean, not for me, but maybe for someone. Find a different bitch then. Mm. I mean, they will. There's a lot of them. I, I mean, know. But if you want to play naughty nurse with someone, you should probably be with like a medical professional. Maybe. Have you ever hooked up with a friend's sibling? No, I've also never hooked up with a friend though. Okay. It's not for me. Have you ever had sex when someone else watched prior to porn? Yes. Um... That was mostly, like, just me being a bad girl, though. Like, okay. Dorm rooms. Teasing things and... Yeah. Okay. Handcuffs or blindfold? Handcuffs. Lube I... or spit? Spit. Always. Choked or spanked? Spank. Oral sex, sloppy or clean? Sloppy. Have you... Are you a part of the Mile High Club? I am not, but I'm really afraid that I'm going to be, like, banned from an airline if I fuck on you know i don't want to be dragged out like we see in those videos of american airlines you just gotta be discreet about it I'm timings everything girl. i could see that about you yeah. you'd be laughing and be like yeah put it harder <laughs> <laughs> i just like i also i was a preschool teacher for a little while big fan of kids i don't want to scar anyone that's true you gotta know where you are you know yeah it's but in like depth. that also that flight from vegas it's too short to like really get into business is that the only place you go, is Vegas? No, but, like, other perform. I'm not going to fuck a civilian on a plane. Mm, they're okay. not going to... Like, if I'm going to do it, I might as well get content. Even if you don't... I mean, you know where they're from, they're going to be tomorrow, and the, all those things, you're still not doing it. Different level of discretion, I okay. think. 
also I don't know if I think a civilian would have a harder time like getting hard true yeah I hope it's not looking like this but just <laughs> the well, inchworm is gonna come to the things <laughs> all right romantic questions what is your favorite part of your body my favorite part of my body I really like my eyes okay hey guys what about your favorite part of the opposite sex body oh I'm a big hands girl long do they fingers. have to be long big hands or just what is like about hands okay I think when you're do you ever meet guys where they have like a really big palm but like mm-hmm. short stubby little fingers that's weird for weird me. yeah mm-hmm. proportionate long fingers you know. okay making out or cuddling making out I don't want to cuddle I get really sweaty like okay you run hot yeah cut or uncut uncut if your sex life had a t- was had a title of a song what would it be um i touch myself and think of you mm, I like that have you ever answered the phone during sex yeah was i've it, answered facetimes before it's, and you just keep going yeah all right turn-ons what turns you on we know what turns you off but what turns you on i think it has a lot to do with somebody's personality okay especially being in la you know everybody's gorgeous Mm. and like you said earlier like there is something that you can find attractive about everyone you cannot mesh with everyone on a personal level sometimes you know the big cats can't share a cage facts energy is everything yeah lights on or lights off on foreplay or sex and you can only pick one sex what are your deal breakers uh if he drinks cow's milk you know those dudes who are like I want cow's milk. I want whole's milk. Whole milk. I'm going to drink it out of the... I don't know men like this at all. <laughs> well, when you meet one, run. They just ask for cow's milk? Well, like, if you go to a dude's house and they have, like, cow milk in the fridge, not plant-based milk and okay. it's whole milk specifically. Yeah, it's a lot much. Run. You still call your mom, like, every day. It's a lot. So you that's know? a deal breaker for you? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'd say that. I'd say... Um, if I don't know where we stand, I'm immediately unattracted. Okay. Yeah. Naked or lingerie? Naked. I would rather be naked than wear anything. Hmm. Favorite place to be kissed? Neck. Specifically, like, right there. Neck That's- kisses? Mm-hmm. All right. Kinky questions. Do you have any fetishes? I wouldn't call anything a fetish because I can still come with or without it. Okay. I feel like... A fetish is something that you need to come. No? Okay. Yeah. Um, or it's almost like the tabooness, something that you like. Like, you know, I had a, a female on here talking about that she didn't realize that she had a pantyhose fetish because, like, her dude liked that. Mm. And it was, like, fucking her with, like, you know, things is just, like, the texture of it, what it felt like, and things like that. And I was like, mm, okay. So, you yeah. know. I like my dude fucking other girls. I think it's fun. Okay. Regardless of, It's a like, fetish. Yeah, I, I think it's, like, kind of fun. Do you need to be there at all times, or do you just no. like to be told about it? I just want to be told about it. Let me know what happened. Like, even if we're, like, out and, like, my friend's, like, like, oh, my God, I'm so horny. Like, if I can lean over and be, like, honestly, babe, you should go fuck her in the bathroom. Go so make you like her to share me. me on, like, that? Like, that'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever been with a partner that's done those things, or are they too intimidating? Because sometimes I feel like... So you would like that, but the partner, as much as a guy, you would think he would be like, like, no, not they get scared. intimidated. Yeah. Because I have a scared. girlfriend who's like that. And she's like, I wish I could share your boyfriend. I'm like, I don't. I'm like, I don't think that that's how this works. The guy And I don't think scared. that he could do it either. No. Because it's like, it's intimidating. I had a boyfriend. I invited him over to like my friends in industry and I were going to an event. One of my friends walks in, she takes off her top and she starts stripping to change. He was there in the room. She didn't realize he was a civilian. So he, like, freaked out? He turned bright red, and he could only look at me. Oh. He couldn't look past me, couldn't look anywhere else. And Were I you like, laughing? You? Um, I felt really bad for him. Okay. It's like, you know, I do think that for him, that's a line of consent that was maybe crossed. Okay. But also, it was kind of, like, pussy. Really? Well, like, I mean, he was being, a, I mean, in a sense, like, you could tell us who people are if they either turn around or be like, oh, you know, whatever. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be so, like... Oh my god! I don't know what to do. I'm like, I don't know, I know what to do. I was very anything, like prudish. I was like, come on, you're. I don't think he is for you. Anybody who's a prude for you, I don't think that they're gonna work really long for it's you. Not. Just it's by <laughs> the way that I know that your likes, 
and your dislikes now for everything to know you hear a private talk you need a strong man who's strong gonna be able man. to like open-minded very open-minded someone who's <laughs> gonna let you be promiscuous and vice versa to like give you those mm -hmm. things because i think it's important in relationships it's like you know it's all fun and games but it's like when you really know what you want yeah. it's like you need someone to be that equal for you because it's like there is someone out there that can do that but then there's people that have been like oh fuck no i'm not even well i also think like with work like i'm out here fucking dudes and bitches like you should do yeah fair what sex skill are you most proud of oh my head absolutely okay. head game on 10 yeah i'm a drooler it gets everywhere i've slipped in my own puddles of drool before mm. yeah. work hazards mm -hmm. most number of times you've had sex in one day <clears throat> Maybe like upwards of five. Okay. Yeah. Healthy. Have you ever woken up next to someone you didn't know their name? Yeah. I mean, I forget people's names all the time. Do you play it off? Do you just not say anything as far as a name? How often are we calling people by name? I'm, I don't do it often. I give nicknames so it makes it easier to remember what they are. Like, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll just be like, hun. Hey, hey, hey hun. Hun. nice to see you. <laughs> it was good working with you. Thanks. I'll see you later. And then I don't. And then you don't. All right. <laughs> last question. Bondage. Yes or no? Yes. yes. I love a handcuff. I okay. So you like the one to be down. submissive. Um, I think the little wrestling for control is really fun. Okay. That's I mean, hot. if I'm not the boss, show me I'm not the boss. Hey, show her. Private talk, <laughs> show her. All right, that is the rest of Truth With Texas. You passed mm -hmm. with flying colors. I hope you had fun. I, I had did. fun getting to know you a little bit more. Is there anything you'd like to ask Miss Texas? Oh, my gosh. Just, like, what do you think has been the best thing to come out of your career so the far? The best thing that came out of my career? Um, You know, I feel like just being allowed to have a platform to kind of do what I want as far as owning my sexuality you know but the porn kind of gave me um a pathway to kind of really know who or figure out who i was as a woman what i liked sexually what i liked from you know from different partners and just having the freedom the freedom to do what i want and the, how i want to do it and mm -hmm. my podcast definitely for me has become you know a really great thing because i feel like people got to know the performer side of me but didn't get to know my intellectual side and know that I can do more than just my doggy style, even though yeah. it's really great. <laughs> um, but I love having conversations with people like yourself, you know, who've been in the business, you know, new, young, old, all kinds of people in the diversity of what it brings and what the industry brings to that. So I have a really great time just getting to know everybody on a different level. Is there anything that you miss about before you join the industry? Anything I've missed? Um, I don't think so. You know, before I got in the industry, I was in college. So mm -hmm. for me, I, I used to always, you know, make the joke, I'm young, dumb, and full of cum, so I was kind of doing sexual things in college that mm -hmm. wasn't too far-fetched of me, like, getting in the industry. Now, did I ever think I would be in the industry? Absolutely not, because I didn't know how that would ever come about, but it's something that kind of fell into my lap, and I ran with it, and my whole thing was, go big or go home, and Miss Texas never went fucking home. I mean... Everything's bigger in Texas. And you know that's right. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Please let you. us know where we can follow you and support you, Chloe. All of my socials are the same at I am Chloe Surreal. All right, Private Talk. You heard her. Make sure you follow her and check it out. Make sure you like this episode and subscribe to the channel. Thank Until you next so time. much for having me. This episode is sponsored by Bet Online.